Good morning and welcome back Eagles and welcome to our new Eagles. I'm Mr. Patton, the principal of George Jenkins High School and I'm proud to be your principal and I'm really excited to have you back this school year. I'm going to take a couple moments this morning to discuss some new policies we have on our campus. The first one, the biggest one, is probably going to be our hall pass policy. So in past years, teachers would write you an orange pass that you would go to the restroom or wherever you're going and you'd come back. Uh, we saw that that was taking too much time and we weren't really sure students were going to the proper areas that they should have been going to at the time. So we're instituting a new policy where you'd be wearing a pass. All of your teachers have them. Easy to put on, easy to take off. And this way you'll go to your zoned areas. So for example, if you have a classroom uh, upstairs in building one, you'll be using the bathrooms only at the corners of one and three. Now you'll be traveling to different parts of the campus. Uh, if you're going to guidance or something like that, we'll still use the orange pass. These are strictly for just quick maneuvering like restroom passes, things of that nature, okay? Phone policy. Another biggie here as far as what's different. So we are now officially, as a school district, a one-to-one -one school school district. There is no Wi-Fi access on personal devices at all. There's no VPNs, things like that. If your phone is out, if your earbuds are out during class time, not class change, during class time, you're gonna be sent to the choice room. Okay, we did this policy a few years ago. It works fine, you guys adjusted just fine to us. I'm not too concerned about it. You need to really make sure that you're charging your own school issued devices and bring them to school every day, okay? There will be no school Wi-Fi for students on personal devices. Last year, you were able to use a personal device and we had a Wi-Fi password for you. That no longer exists, exists throughout the district. It's not just a George Jenkins thing throughout the district. So no more personal devices accessing um, our school's Wi-Fi, okay? So make sure, once again, during school time, when you're in that classroom, no phones out, okay? Class change, fine. Lunchtime, fine. Okay, before school, fine. After school, fine. But not during class time. And last is our ID, ID policy. So in the past, few years ago, uh, prior to COVID, uh, IDs were mandatory across the district. And we did a great job with that here as well. Uh, that is back. So all IDs must be worn above the waist at all times while you're on campus during school hours. If you don't have your ID in first period, then your first period teacher is going to send an email. We'll have one printed to you prior to the end of that first period class, and you'll be set for periods two through seven. If you choose not to wear it on periods two through seven, at that point you're going to be sent to the choice room for the remainder of that period. And also another ID will be issued again. And with that comes a $5 fee. You can either pay it at that time or it's put on your obligation. You cannot graduate until all your obligations are paid, and that would be something that would hold you back from walking across the stage um, when you finally were able to graduate as a senior. So I know these are a little bit new for you. Um, some of them as a staff we've done before, like I said, um, but these are things to better our campus, make it safer for everybody, make it more efficient for everybody. And uh, once again, really excited that you're back here and looking forward to see you out on campus. Thank you.